Hello folks, my name is Marvel Master and I welcome you to another video of the Witcher 3 modding tutorial series. Today I want to show you how to replace a sword in-game with another custom one. The one you see on the screen now. So let's begin. So I already started Mod Kitchen and now I'm going to export an existing sort of Witcher 3. So export specific files, add files and I had to my uncooked folder. A sort should be in items, weapons, sorts. Which is the source model, and I want uh, wait, wait, wait. I want uh, Griffin's the sword level one. So I hit open, and now I have to set an output directory for my model. This will be in my mod widget folder where all my mods are. Here I create a new folder called Olympus Blade because that's what the blade we will get in the game is called. And in this folder we will create a new folder named RAW. Hit OK and um, export. Now the W to mesh file will be exported into an editable file, in this case an FBX file. Once VCC Lite is finished or has finished this, we are going to edit it. So Mod Kitchen has finished, so let's look into our Mod Witcher folder and Olympus Blade, Raw Items, Weapon, Swords, Steel Swords model. Okay, here we got an FPX model file and an XML that belongs to this file. So, but don't, we won't do our edits in the raw folder. We will copy it and name it modded because Mod Kitchen will later pack all files that inside the modded folder. So here we are and we got our two files in the modded folder. So next step is uh, open Blender. You can use any other um, rendering software. I am a um, modeling noob so I am using Blender. So now I will import the model from the modded folder Olympus Blade, modded items and so on. So here we are. This is the Griffin Sword level one. This sort has uh, two level of two levels of detail, but for testing purposes, we just want to edit the level one. So we delete the level two mesh level of detail. So delete it, and we just get one mesh. So now let's go on. We want to replace this model with another one so therefore we have to get the other model this one you can download uh, many free sword models for example from this website tf3dm i already downloaded this blade of olympus and i got these files we will be using the diffuse the normals and the objects files. For this we are going to copy all of this stuff into our mod widget folder where the original files of uh, the model are. Okay, now we got uh, the object we want to replace the other with 
and we will import it into Blender 2. File import is, is an object file, I guess. Yeah, Olympus objects. So here we are. So now, now we have to align it in the way the original sword is. So let's get it um, rotated a little. Don't laugh at me the way I'm doing this because as I already said I am loop on modeling. So this should be it. But it's a little too big now so let's scale it a little bit down. The thing we have to care now is about um, the grip of the sword. Once we have it aligned right the grip of the sword has to be at the same position as the original sword so let's scale it a little bit up more a little higher so this should work uh, maybe it's a little bit too big <laughs> Okay, so now the Olympus sword is in the right position and we can delete the mesh data of the original sword. So I go into the edit mode. The original sword is already selected, selected and I hit delete and delete all vertices and now only our Olympus sword is left. So now what I'm going to do is export it into an FBX file. Export it, go under export FBX advanced options, don't add leaf bones and path mode is copy mode and embed textures. So we export it to the same file as the original one which has steel sword or which has steel griffin sword level one. Hit export and now the original FBX file is replaced by our Olympus sword. So now what we are gonna do is to um, take care of the textures of our new sword. So for that we look into our XML. Here you see that um, the textures uh, are found by the game through paths that are written inside the XML. So what we are going to do now we we want copy we want to copy one material and just paste it below here and we have to edit some stuff here first is the material name the material name we actually find inside blender now when we go under object mode right click on it and go to the materials tab we see the material is called wire zero 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 whatever. So we are just copying that and paste it into the XML file. So this is the name for our material. And now we need the path of our materials. This one will be uh, wait, in our modding folder inside the Olympus Blade folder where all our other files are. We got the Olympus Diffuse TGA and the Olympus Normal TGA. So we copy it on the Diffuse place. We paste it. The name of the texture here. Olympus Diffuse and Olympus normal texture goes here. So these both textures will be created and packed as XBM files into the right direction now. 
So one thing we have to care of too is that uh, specular color and reverence color, whatever this is meaning, uh, does not work at the moment for me. So I just delete it and then we can save the XML file and delete the object file from our modding folder because we don't need it here anymore. So now we get our four files, our two textures, our FBX file and our XML file. So now everything is set up and we can build our mod. So name our mod, I name it Olympus Blade. And our mod working directory as always is in the mod widget folder, the Olympus Blade folder, because Mod Kitchen is looking for the modded folder. So hit OK, show files to import, and hit the build button. This might take a minute or two, and I see you later. So Mod Kitchen has finished, and a new folder should have been created inside our Olympus Blade folder. So let's look for it, mod with uh, Olympus Blade. And here we got it. The packed folder contains our mod folder. We copy it, head to our mod, di uh, to our Witcher 3 White Hunt directory, open mods and just paste it here. And then we can start our game. So whilst my game is starting, I'm looking for the command to cast our sword when we are in gate in game. Here we got it. Inside the game, the item is called Griffin School Steel Sword. So I copy this, and once my game has started, I can enter this inside the debug console, and we will see if our modding has worked. Okay, here we are. I am in game. I have already loaded my save game. So let's see if our sword has been replaced. I open the debug console via the F2 button, paste the command to cast our sword. Okay, has been added to our inter inventory. Let's head to the inventory. Here we got it. Griffin steel sword. And let's equip it and look uh, what it's looking like. Here we go. I guess Garrett's liking it. Okay, here we are. The Griffin Steel Sword level 1 now looks like the Olympus Sword. You can use it, has the same stats as it, and you can uh, do nice videos with it, whatever you want to do. So what I've done with the sword today, you basically, or theoretically, could do with any mesh inside the game. So, as always, if you liked this video, give me a like. And if you got any questions or suggestions, just uh, write below in the comment section. See you later, guys!